Hello, students. Uh, this is your video instructions for our polar graph exploration. Today, you are going to be exploring some classic polar graphs. Um, there are various forms of polar graph equations that are listed on the handout that you'll receive today. Um, and then your job is to write the equation for a collection of polar graphs um, that will be provided to you. And the way you're going to do this is by experimenting using Desmos um, with the equation forms that are shown on the front side of the page. I recommend that you work through um, the equation formats rather than working through the graphs one by one. Um, the reason I say that is if you're trying specifically, say, to make this graph right here, you are not going to be sure initially which of these formats to use. So my recommendation is that you start with a circle and that you graph um, in Desmos um, one of these versions of a circle and you see which one matches one of these graphs that you see at the bottom of the page and on the back side of the page. So for example, let's say I've gone through and I've gotten down to, I'm going to give you the example of limasoles. So I know that these equations look something like this. I'm going to go into Desmos. So let me switch over here. So I'm going to go to the graphing calculator. Let me show you how to get this set up. Um, I'm going to go to the graph settings. I like using um, the second option. It just makes everything a little bit more readable. We're going to change our grid to a polar grid. Um, I'm turning off my axis numbers, but before I do, I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll out. We want to be able to see out to about 10 or so. Um, actually, maybe I'll leave maybe I'll leave those numbers on. If you're if the numbers get in your way, you can always come in here and uncheck axis numbers, but I think I'll leave these on. Um, and I'm leaving my um, angle and radians. So I'm going to type in the format that I see on my sheet for a limason. It's R equals plus or minus A. I'm just going to use A, R equals A, and then plus B, and it could be sine or cosine. We'll go with head with sine. And then I need theta, which I can find in the little keypad. If you click down in the lower left-hand corner, that'll pop it up. Click the ABC button, and theta is over here on the right-hand side. All right, I'm hiding my keypad here. So it's not graphing anything because it does not know what A or B are. So I'm going to add sliders for both A and B. And now I can see this is my limason. And now I can adjust my slider to see what that does to my graph. So if I start messing with this, ooh, that's interesting. This looks like one of the graphs that's on my sheet. It's got that little loop-de-loop -loop on the inside of it. Let me go back to my sheet here and see if we can find one that kind of matches that. We're looking for that little loop-de-loop. -loop. Ooh, that kind of looks like this one. Ah, oh, but this one's oriented sideways instead of vertically. I wonder if there's a change that I could make in my graph to make it look more like this. So I might go back to my graph and I'll and you'll find very quickly that there are some specific things that you can do to change the orientation. Spoiler alert, it has to do with changing sines and cosines. All right, and then once I get it oriented the right way, then I need to mess with these A and B values to get everything to match up. Kind of the key points as I'm looking here. Um, I don't know that I can't remember what it looks like because I don't have it in front of me. Um, but here's an example of one. Sort of the key things are this little loop-de-loop -loop sort of comes out to one, two, a radius of two, and the outer edge is coming out to about eight. So I would be sort of looking to make sure those things match up with what I see on the graph. The other thing that I could do is kind of look at these, um, these X intercepts over here that come out to one, two, three on both sides here. So again, your goal is to write equations for each of these graphs. Once you do find your equation, once you've matched that in Desmos, go ahead and write it down, R equals whatever the equation that you found. Um, you are going to be turning this in, so please make sure that you get your first and last uh, names of, of the two or three people in your team on the sheet here. All right. 
Good luck. Enjoy.